Hey, what's going on, guys? Call of Truth here, and today's Monday, which means it's time for another episode of Medal of Honor Mondays, a series I do on my channel where I bring you guys Medal of Honor 2010 gameplay backed by a more thought-provoking commentary or one that revolves around Medal of Honor 2010 and or Medal of Honor Warfighter. Now, a few things I want to mention about the gameplay before getting into the main topic is you'll see me run around with the Underslung Grenade Launcher more than I usually do, and no, I'm not using it as a primary, although people love to do it in this game. The reason for that is a, very, very recently I should say, I had this clip here where I'm playing a little TDM on Garmzir, see a couple guys on the mini-map over near the B-Flag uh, building over there, fire random shots, and I get a kill. It's just, really? Did I just do that? You see me jumping up and down right there, I just, wow, I can't believe I just did that. So, that's why I was kind of running around with it a little bit more, just because after that incident I was like, well, maybe this thing is actually kind of powerful, because normally I don't ever use it. I mean, I hardly ever use the grenade launcher in this game just because first of all I can't aim with it I mean I'm a horrible aim with it and second thing is it doesn't seem to ever get me any kills when I fire at someone but this gameplay you'll see me use it a little bit more it's not my primary weapon don't worry and the other thing I want to mention is I am using the F2000 which is kind of like the third assault rifle in Medal of Honor 2010 the M16 is by far the most powerful, then it's the AK-47, and the F-2000 is kind of like the third guy. It's just, it just cannot kill guys nearly as fast as the other two guns, so I would not really recommend using it. If you want to give yourself a little bit more of a challenge, I'd use the F-2000. And considering I was using this gun, the score at the end is pretty good. It's nothing too spectacular, but considering this assault rifle is just not very good, I thought it would turn out to be a pretty good score, so I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. But today's topic is going to be about Medal of Honor Warfighter. Now, I know we've seen a ton of, like, trailers, a ton of trailer reviews, and a ton of information has been released. We know a lot about this game. And I want to ask you guys, what have you seen that has got you most excited for this game? What grabbed your attention, when, whether it be, like, something in a trailer, whether it be information about the whole class, like the classes, the, like, support systems, the, um the different, uh, different types of armies that are going to be in this game, what grabbed you? What drew you into saying, wow, I think this game is going to be pretty cool? Now, me personally, what grabbed my attention the most was some alpha gameplay when I actually got to see some footage. And when I actually got to watch some footage of Medal of Honor Warfighter, it looked pretty similar to Medal of Honor 2010. Now, what I mean by that is, in Medal of Honor 2010, you could play extremely aggressive. I mean, when I see an aggressive player, I have a tendency to think of guys like Old Bean. I know he's a very, very aggressive player, and he does extremely well. He's one of the best players in the world. I mean, he's a phenomenal player. And when I think of a guy that's kind of like an in-between player, I think of someone like Almost Evil 33, who is also a fantastic player, one of the best in the world, and he can play both aggressive and passively and just still dominate this game. And that's one thing I really like about Medal of Honor 2010. You can play extremely aggressively, and you can also play pretty passively and still have some success. And after watching some alpha gameplay, it looked like you could do the same thing in Medal of Honor Warfighter. I see some guys, you know, being extremely aggressive, running up there, getting face to face with their enemies and killing them. And also seeing some guys kind of hang back just a little bit and still get some kills. So I am very, very excited to see some more gameplay of Medal of Honor Warfighter, see some more game modes being played, see how the maps are going to be designed and everything. I am very, very anxious for this game. Now another topic revolving around Medal of Honor Warfighter is the hype for this game. Now you guys know in a previous video I talked about Medal of Honor Warfighter, Black Ops 2, and Halo 4. And I did mention that video that I am not going to be really talking about Halo 4 much just because I don't have an Xbox. I have played Halo 2 and Halo 3, so I've gotten a pretty good experience in Halo, and overall the games were a lot of fun. And the last Call of Duty I played seriously was uh, Call of Duty 4, the very first Modern Warfare. Since then I have played all the Call of Duties, even up to Modern Warfare 3, just not a lot. They just don't appeal to me very much. But when it comes to the hype for the game and just the overall excitement, I really want... Medal of Honor Warfighter to be the game that people talk about a lot. I want people to be very, very excited for this game because right now, most people out there are still kind of talking about the whole Black Ops 2 thing. Obviously, Halo 4 is going to be a game where people are going to buy just because um, how good Halo games have been in the past. 
but it seems to me that Black Ops 2 is still the game that people are most excited for, and I really want to change it. I would love to see Medal of Honor Warfighter to be the game people are extremely interested in. They're really, really looking forward to it, and they want to get it. So probably when these Medal of Honor Monday videos, I might do a little bit more Warfighter as it gets closer to the release of the actual game just to kind of build some more hype for it and hopefully get people interested in this game. That's all I'm going to talk about really when it comes to this commentary when evolving the gameplay and Medal of Honor Warfighter. The only other thing I want to mention is a little bit more of a timing of video release. Now recently I've been kind of putting, kind of putting out videos eh, around nighttime, like I don't know, maybe anywhere from 7 to around 10 o'clock at night. And do you guys enjoy that or would you rather see some videos uploaded more during the daytime, like even mornings or like noon or something like that? Because at least for me, whenever if I'm going to work or something like that and I come home, I'm kind of tired. I don't really want to, you know, get on a game or even talk to my friends or anything like that. I'm just kind of, you know, just kind of want to relax and just, I don't know. I guess relax is the best way to describe it. Just kind of chill and maybe watch a few videos. No one seems to be putting out any videos at night. And that's one of the reasons why I started to do that is because I noticed really people release around midday to afternoon. And then as it gets more towards the evening time, people don't release a video. And I thought, well, I can kind of, you know, put a video at nighttime and see how it goes. And I want to ask you guys if you all actually enjoy me putting out videos at night or if you would rather see the videos go up in the afternoon or even in the morning. I am very, very open to, uh, to the time of day in which I put out videos. And the final thing I want to mention in this video is thank you guys so much. Your feedback on the Bad Company 2 video was fantastic. I really do appreciate that. There will be a series Bad Company Tuesdays. Mr. Exclusive came out with an awesome idea. So that will be going out uh, tomorrow because obviously today is Monday. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Be sure to leave me your comments below as far as what you thought about this commentary as well as what you are most excited for in Medal of Honor Warfighter, what you saw that really piqued your interest in this game, that got you just extremely interested and really looking forward to this game coming out. And hope you guys enjoy the video, and I will talk to you all later. Have a great day, guys. Bye.